Anguicho. The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. During today's sessions, the Chamber continues hearing the testimony of witness Pam Van, alias Cam Pan. Questions are going to be put by counsels for la défense the accused persons and then we proceed to listen or to hear the testimony of PCW 695 Mr. Parry, you are now instructed to report to the chamber on the status of the parties to the proceedings Parry Mr. President, your honours Today is the 14th of December 2012. All parties to the proceedings are present, except Mr. Ying Sari, who is present, but in his holding cell due to his health concerns. Mr. Parry, you are now instructed to report to the chamber that he would be absent today due to his personal commitment. Today, the chamber continues hearing the testimony of witness Kam Pan, who is present before us now. The chamber also has a reserve witness, TCW. Six, six nine, five. The witness has already <coughs> taken an oath le a déjà before uh, in the complex of the court. Dans the witness also confirms that le a the witness has no relation or biological relation de with any of the civil parties. Or the parties to the proceeding. Thank you, Mr. President. The Merci. President. Thank you, Mr. Duc Parry. Next, uh, we would Monsieur like uh, to Paris. hand over La to counsel for Mr. Kilson Pond to Kusampan continue putting questions to this witness. Interroger <coughs> Council, Council, thank you, Mr. President and Your Honours. I would like to continue putting a few more questions to you. Yesterday we broke off when I put a question to you on K-17 and your study at B-20. I would like uh, to also ask you a few France. more specific questions concerning questions this. First of all, may I know how old you were, actually? Quel âge aviez -vous à because it appears uh, to us that uh, you, uh, you have the same Apparemment birth date uh, on the three records of the interviews before the co-investigating judges, is it the genuine date, uh, birth, uh, birth update? Votre date de naissance a été mentionnée dans les trois PV d'audition. S'agit-il de la Response, date I don't remember exact. the exact date I was born. Réponse, je ne me souviens pas de ma date de naissance exacte. But I already stated in the document. Mais la date figure déjà dans le document. Question. Question. Do you believe that you are older than the actual age uh, you provided in the documents, or younger? Être plus âgé ou plus jeune Response. que votre date de naissance, telle qu'elle figure dans le document, older or younger ne donne à penser. Uh, that date perhaps just one Réponse. year different. C'est la bonne date à un ou deux ans près. Thank you. Question. Question. You said you attended study session at B20. B20. 
you learn to type vous avez appris using the typewriter and also you learn some command letters can you tell the chamber in more detail what you learned actually pourriez-vous préciser qu'avez-vous appris response I actually did not study typing, but I learned to decode telegrams. I think uh, I didn't study to become a typist anyway. Counsel, thank you. I heard uh, a lot uh, about typing writer and that you study how to type so to correct this record is it fair to say that you did not study cela, how to type but to decode telegrams please uh, say that again response yes uh, i learned to réponse. decode telegrams j'ai appris à décoder des télégrammes question, question. What did you learn regarding the telegram? Qu'avez-vous appris exactement dans le domaine des télégrammes? Response. At that time, we learned how Réponse. to understand the ten-digit kind of chart. Question. Question. Can you explain to the chamber, please, what you mean by the ten-digit chart? Quand vous parlez de système ou de tableau à dix chiffres. Response. Réponse. Um, in the study session, we would be instructed on how to understand the square boxes, for example, the square columns with 10 columns, and then uh, there colonnes. would be number from uh, 0 to 9, which is, uh, and then we were instructed to convert or to decode Ensuite, uh, this number, to understand the number and translate it. Uh, them in two words. Décoder le message et le traduire en mots. Question. Apart from these techniques, did you study other lessons? Response. No, I didn't. Réponse. À part cela, avez-vous appris autre chose? Réponse. Non. Thank you. Question. Question. During the time you studied uh, telegrams, how long was the training? Les telegrams. Combien de temps a duré la formation? Response. The training was about one month. Réponse. Environ un mois. Thank you. Question. Question. After one month training, were you capable Après, mois de enough to decode the telegrams? Étiez-vous suffisamment compétent pour and décoder les telegrams? And how did your instructor say about your performance? Et quelle était l'évaluation de votre instructeur concernant response? At that time, there was no such assessment. Uh, after Il a pas the session, I had to work with my Après father session, and be with him at, at my home village. Je suis resté auprès de lui dans mon village natal. Question. What was the Question. instruction you were offered during the first time you allowed to decode some telegrams? La première fois que vous avez décodé des télégrammes, quelles instructions avez-vous reçues? Response. I don't recollect this. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. Question. I would like uh, to ask you a few questions concerning K-17. You said uh, you spent some time there from 1974 all the way to 1977. You stay at K-17 of Sector 105. What did you do there? Qui faisiez-vous?
response. Je I pense. was with my father helping him père. decode Je telegrams. À décoder des telegrams. Thank you. Question. Between 1974 et 1977, Other offices under K17 of Sector 105. Dans le secteur 105. Response. I don't remember Réponse. this very well. It was Je ne sais plus. Some, something that happened a long time ago. C'était il y a bien longtemps. Question. As a Question. telegram decoder, en tant did you work de under the supervision of other persons? Est-ce que vous travaillez person? sous la supervision d'autres personnes? Or were you in charge of the section and you had Bien. some subordinates? Est-ce que c'était vous qui étiez responsable Response. de la section I worked avec under des the chairman of the office. Réponse. Je travaillais sous l'autorité du président du bureau. What kind of office was Question. that? Question. Quel genre de bureau était-ce? Council, please repeat. Uh, response. Uh, it's uh, office. Réponse. K17. Le bureau K17. Question. Allow Question. me to seek some clarification on this. Pouvez Your father préciser. was the secretary of the Votre sector and there was another secteur. chief uh, for the office Et le who was your father's subordinate but your boss. Le Is that correct? De votre Response. Père yes, en même it temps, is. Votre propre supérieur. Est-ce exact? Réponse, oui. Thank you. Question. Question. How many people were in your group or were you Combien there de votre or by yourself? Response. Ou bien est -ce que Are you vous y étiez seul? asking me Réponse. about the people in my telegram decoding section? De la section du Council, des thank you. Uh, indeed, uh, it was uh, that Effectivement, how many people were there in your group combien de gens y avait-il dans ce groupe du décodage section. des télégrammes Response. At the beginning, I was alone Au début, j'étais seul. Working as the decoder. J'étais le seul décodeur. Question. Question. Until which year you continued working alone before you were joined by seul. other people? Autrement dit, à quel moment d'autres sont-ils venus vous Later on, when I was joined réponse. by my sister, suite, she ma also was joined by a few other people. Et il y a eu aussi d'autres gens, quelques-uns qui Thank sont venus you. nous rejoindre. Question. Question. Did K17 have other subsections? Est-ce que K17 était composé de sections where people would be tasked uh, exemple, with receiving the same telegrams as you did? De réceptionner les telegrams. Response: No, there was none. Réponse: Subsection. Non, il n'y avait pas de sous-section. Question. Question. So is it our understanding that uh, there is no section Donc, for il avait pas receiving de radio communication de les communications other radio. than your section? So who Hormis received votre propre all section. the telegrams? Dès lors, qui Did you do that or your vous? superior? Votre supérieur? Response. Réponse. I am not quite sure I understand your question. Are you talking about uh, telegrams decoders or the tele uh, uh, communi uh, radio communication 
personnel. Du personnel chargé des communications Response. radio. Uh, rather ou question. Du I décodage de am asking you about the radio communication Je vous interroge section sur la section des communications par radio. Alone as en effet, vous avez dit avoir été le seul décodeur jusqu'au moment où votre sœur et d'autres vous ont rejoint. My question is about the radio communication. Indeed, who actually received all the Qui telegrams you worked as the coder but who received all these decoders, telegrams incoming telegrams response we Réponse. had different people and staff member who worked at uh, the radio communication section du personnel différent à la section des communications radio council thank you la défense merci Question. I would like uh, to seek some clarification from you concerning document E3-58, the record of e interview you gave before the co-investigating Under ERN in Khmer, 0023-9936. I would like to now proceed to give the chamber the ERN numbers in Je vais English. Les ERN en anglais. Council, I would like to read the Khmer word first, and I would then proceed to give the ERN numbers in French and English. I am now looking for the relevant pages. Je suis en train de chercher la bonne page. So please uh, read the, uh, oh, listen to me. In this document, it is on uh, page uh, number three, and I believe that it would 3. be on the same en page Khmer. of the English and French version, but I will be looking for the right page anglais, for you. Mais je vais chercher on this page, you page indicated that dans ces langues. Voici ce que vous dites. In 1975 to late 1977, I went to Phnom Krau at K-17 office where the provincial committee members worked. I would like to seek some clarification concerning the terms you use, provincial committee. Were these the right terms used at that time? Did they use provincial committee Parlait-on de comité provincial Parlait-on de membres de comité provincial Ou bien est-ce qu'on parlait des membres du comité de secteur Response. At that time, some Réponse. people would refer à to à this certains as the a sector committee Appelait or secretary le comité of sector, sector 105. There was no such official language used. It was about the routine where people would uh, be 
uh, using council. Thank you. I would like to read e, uh, and in English for you. Je donne les ERN en anglais à présent. Zero zero two five zero 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 eight eight zero zero quatre vingt huit French zero zero two eight zero zero vingt huit three nine trente neuf one four quatorze. So you say that uh, it is not quite sure for you. Provincial <laughs> committee member could have been the Donc, committee members of the sector. Les is membres that du comité de province étaient peut-être les membres du comité de secteur. Est-ce là ce que vous Please dites? Please answer again. Respond. Sometimes they used uh, both terms interchangeably. Les deux appellations étaient utilisées de manière interchangeable. Thank you. Under the same ERN number, La Défense. both Khmer English and French uh, shares the same ERN number. I move to langues, the next or the following question. You un autre passage. say it. With regard to the instructions from the center to K17 for any arrest, such order or instruction was not uh, ever seen. Do you still stand uh, by your statement? Est-ce que vous confirmez ces propos? Response. I do, yes, oui. uh, because at that time there was no such order for arrest. People could be convened to work and they disappeared. Les gens That's pour aller travailler, puis ils Qu uh, Mais thank you. Question. Question. Can you also confirm, as to the best of your knowledge, that À votre uh, there was no such order for arrest. Il a donc pas How could you be so sure? De à des As a telegram recorder, si uh, or de telegram, you received some telegrams. Des telegrams. What made you conclude that there was no such instruction or orders? n'avait été donné. Response. Réponse. At that time, some telegrams à cette époque, were of strictly certains secret or confidential. Étaient strictement confidentiels. And I perhaps uh, did not know all about this. Some other people could have been called to Et Peut-être n'étais-je pas au courant, peut-être que d'autres gens étaient convoqués pour assister à des sessions d'études à l'échelon supérieur, mais je n'en savais rien. Question. As a telegram decoder, are you... Now saying en tant you que décodeur had no de Telegram, êtes-vous en train de nous dire received que any vous instructions or orders n'avez pas connaissance the que des ordres arrest. aient été so donnés could, could par Telegram en vue de procéder à des arrestations Est-ce que vous kind of confirmez n'avoir reçu aucune instruction, aucun ordre de procéder Response. à des arrestations Via des télégrammes. I can confirm because Réponse. if there was there was such order, then si I would be able to read from the telegram. But there was none. Les lire for dans les télégrammes. Mais ça n'a pas été le cas. President, I have no Merci. more questions, Merci. but I would like to see. Merci, Monsieur le Président. J'en ai terminé. Et je vais céder la parole à mon confrère pour la suite de l'interrogatoire. Bonjour, Monsieur. Je vais avoir quelques questions. Ça ne sera pas très long. Good morning, à vous poser. Sir. I do have a few questions to Donc, ask je suis Arthur Verken, l'avocat international de M. Kyosampan. Et pour commencer, je voudrais vous relire une des positions que vous avez données aux enquêteurs du tribunal, qui vous a d'ailleurs déjà été relu partiellement par le procureur le premier jour de votre comparution à cette barre. 
C'est la première déposition que vous avez faite avec les enquêteurs du tribunal le 21 novembre 2008. Elle est cotée E3 bar 58 et le passage que je vais lire porte les références suivantes. ERN français 002-8-3-9-1-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
Donc vous avez compris, puisque c'est ce que je vous demandais de faire. Confirmer ou Thank you. Well, that confirmer. Shows me that you have une question très simple. I was asking you for a yes or no answer. It was a very simple question. Actually. Et maintenant, je vais vous demander euh, peut-être de préciser davantage. Like Est-ce que to give me a little more pendant la période où vous avez travaillé time, au service des télégrammes, when you were working for the telegram vous service, avez le souvenir de voir do you remember des ordres émanant de M concernant M spécifiquement le riz. Specifically relating to rice. Young men jam de va jam. No, I don't. What no. I can recall is that uh, people did send um, mm. rice Je me uh, to our uh, que du riz avait été envoyé sec sector, à notre secteur. And, uh, the person who sent uh, this Et was Haim. C'est Haim qui l'avait envoyé. D'accord. Est-ce que right. M se préoccupait, c'est-à-dire que s'en pense, que les choses soient claires, euh, se préoccupait euh, ou changeait des télégrammes point, words, euh, concernant la sécurité, les questions de sécurité, l'arrestation de, de, de tout type de sécurité dans security, votre secteur in your sector or region. No, uh, he had nothing to do with security. I did non, not see his il name avait rien à voir avec la sécurité. involving in security matters. Je n'ai jamais vu son nom associé à des questions de sécurité. Lorsque vous avez expliqué dans le passage que j'ai cité que In that les piece, échanges I read de courrier out. You said that en exchanges of mail, of telegrams, avec M étaient non confidentiels. Comment faut-il comprendre avec plus de précision ce que vous voulez dire Ça voulait dire quoi non confidentiel Of exactly what that means when you say non confidential. Because at that time, they did not uh, encode the uh, secret numbers. Um, so uh, this literally means that uh, the communication was not confidential. Cela signifiait que la lettre n'était pas confidentielle lorsqu'elle n'était pas chiffrée. Uh, by literal numbers, I mean that the numbers that uh, we actually studied at school, everyone would understand it easily. And Letters as well uh, used in that uh, telegram communication uh, were the uh, literal um, characters which uh, ordinary people would understand it. Uh, Par contre, les lettres non confidentielles étaient écrites en alphabet que des gens normaux pouvaient lire. Et vous avez vu euh, passer de telles lettres euh, à l'époque où vous avez travaillé au service des télégrammes. And when you were working exact. in the telegram service, you saw such des lettres non confidentielles de M. Non-coded letters going through the service from him. Yes, I uh, did see them. Effectivement. And I did uh, make this uh, statement already with the investigator of the OCIG. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Je voudrais vous demander une précision sur un point Can qui va peut-être vous sembler un petit peu bizarre. C'est sur you. une expression. Euh, J'ai remarqué que dans certains télégrammes qui vous ont été présentés, euh, le télégramme commence par... Euh, Telegram, I mean, starts Bureau 870, bien aimé. Et en français, cette expression, euh, Bureau 870, bien aimé, sonne un peu bizarrement, parce que, around, office, a priori, quand on s'adresse comme cela, c'est à une personne strange, et pas à un bureau. Est-ce que euh, least, vous êtes en mesure de nous éclairer sur... Euh, 
la nature et la raison de cette expression euh, bureau 870 bien aimé was given the name beloved I do not understand uh, the uh, term used, uh, the specific uh, meaning it conveyed, uh, but it was uh, common uh, that uh, in the salutation uh, they would uh, close the letter with uh, this, and I was not actually well educated. I uh, do not really understand how it was arranged. Tout à l'heure, euh... alors non, plutôt, je vais, je ne vais pas faire référence à tout à l'heure, mais je voudrais faire référence à la déposition à cette barre d'autres personnes que vous, Coming back euh, à to qui j'avais demandé, posé la même question sur la signification de cette expression. In fact, I had asked the same question about the Et je fais référence spécifiquement given to euh, that term. à la cote E1 par 851, ou 85.1 plutôt, ERN français 0081871. Khmer, Khmer, 0, 0, 0, 0 8, 8, 1, 1 6, 6, 7, 7, 2, 2, 2, 2 et anglais, and English, 0, 0, 0, 8, 0, 8, 1, 8, 1, 7, 5, 7, 5, 3, 6, 3, 6, il s'agit de la déposition à cette barre d'un témoin, a witness expert en matière de, de télégramme aussi, et à qui j'avais demandé euh, ce que signifiait l'expression à l'attention du bureau 870, euh, très respecté euh, et bien aimé. Et à chaque exemple que je proposais à ce témoin, celui-ci avait répondu que, en réalité, euh, ces télégrammes s'adressaient à Pol Pot. Such telegrams were destined to Pol Pot. Would you agree with that? Or would you ignore always the signification exact of this appellation? Particular witness, or do you continue to be unaware of the significance of that way of addressing people as beloved? I am not knowledgeable of of this. Je ne sais rien de cela. I did not know whether or not M870 was another name for Pol Pot or it was referred to as a committee because at that time leaders were actually from this office. That's what we knew when we were at the sector at the time. Était à ce bureau et c'est ce que nous savions dans le secteur. En tout cas, vous, lorsque vous avez adressé you, encrypté des télégrammes adressés à M. Kiosampan, vous les adressiez à M. C'est bien cela right? yes, Oui, vous avez raison. J'ai une dernière question sur euh, de clarification. J'ai l'impression que, <coughs> one, one par exemple, dans une réponse que vous venez de donner à me, mon confrère uh, Samon Kang, euh, vous avez dit, et Kong, reconnu euh, assez facilement, 
que vous aviez euh, travaillé pour votre père au service des télégrammes jusqu'en 1977, euh, c'est-à-dire l'année finalement de la, de la mort de votre père. In other words, the year of his death. You said this. It has not always been very clear in your depositions about the period during which you worked precisely on the decryption of telegrams. So I would like to ask you if you are in agreement with the date you gave a few minutes ago. I would like to ask you if you are in agreement with the date you gave a few minutes ago. I would like to ask you if you are in agreement with the date you gave a few a job you were doing up to 1977. I uh, stayed with him up until 1977. I was a driver at that time, but I uh, worked as a uh, telegram decoder uh, just up until one year after the war, it was not sometimes in 1977, but it was sometime in 1975 or early 1976. Then I, I left uh, this job. Uh, I was a driver. I do not recall the exact uh, year, but if you want to uh, find out precisely when, I, uh, had to, I have to uh, spend some time to uh, recall or conduct further research in order to find out the exact date. And once again, uh, I did not uh, do the job as a telegram decoder up until 1977, uh, but I did stay with my father until 1977, uh, but I do not recall the exact date. Uh, it has been uh, quite a long time. But I think uh, that ankles uh, my still recall them very well because they might have a good, a good record of it. Et vous avez indiqué à votre, enfin, cette chambre que c'était votre sœur qui avait you pris votre succession. C'est exact? That your sister took over from you. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Effectivement. Et euh, au moment où elle vous a remplacé, vous étiez and encore euh, affecté you, au décryptage. Were you exact? still working on decoding? No, I no longer worked. Non, je ne travaillais plus. As in, uh, de in decoding. My sister took my place. Au sein place. du service de codage, c'est ma sœur qui m'a remplacé. Oui, mais au moment où elle est arrivée, yes, c'est à ce uh, moment-là que vous êtes parti. Les deux, votre went. départ et son arrivée ont-elles coïncidé Did she arrive at precisely the moment you left That is correct. Oui, c'est ça. Alors... <coughs> Peut-être pour vous aider à, à fixer davantage sur la question des dates, Perhaps, euh, so that il y a un télégramme qui vous a été montré il y a deux jours telegram, par uh, le procureur. C'était le troisième télégramme qui vous a montré, et qui porte la cote E3 bar 1195, ERN français. 00531088 ERN Khmer 00057297996 et ERN anglais 00515119 Neuf cinq five un neuf one nine. C'est un télégramme daté du vingt cinq novembre mille neuf cent soixante seize. Le procureur vous a posé des questions sur ce télégramme qui est adressé au camarade Pang par votre père. Et l'on voit, vous l'avez d'ailleurs expliqué, qu'il est question de votre sœur. 
Bopan. C'est bien celle qui vous a remplacé, n'est-ce pas, je crois, au I, I, I service de Telegram, monsieur That is correct. C'est exact. Et dans ce télégramme euh, du 25 novembre 1976, votre And père 1976, dit à Pang qu'il a demandé à votre sœur d'aller se former en document confidentiel. Il demande de l'aide. Donc... Euh, si l'on en croit ce télégramme, il so semblerait que... Le 25 novembre 1976, c'est-à-dire à la fin de l'année 1976, votre sœur n'a pas encore été formée au décryptage des documents confidentiels. Est-ce que cela éclaire éventuellement votre lanterne Le président. President, witness, uh, please hold on. Mr. Prosecutor, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President, and good day to you, sir. Uh, to I have an objection on the way in which the question was posed. Because I do have a question about the way in which the question was posed. Because I do have a question about the way in which the question was posed. Because I do have a question about the way in which the question was posed. Because I do have a question about the way in which the question was posed. Because I do have a question about the way in which the question was posed. Because I do have a question about the way in which the question was posed. Because I do have a question about the way in which the question was posed. Because I do have a question ça ne veut pas nécessairement dire qu'elle n'avait eu aucune formation auparavant. Ça peut être une formation continue, ça peut être une spécialisation, ça peut être d'autres motifs. Donc je pense que la question devrait être reformulée dans ce sens-là. Moi j'ai une objection sur l'objection, puisque par l'intermédiaire de son objection, Monsieur le procureur suggère des réponses aux témoins D'autant plus que j'avais l'intention de, de poursuivre en fonction de la réponse du témoin avec ce que m'a dit la sœur elle-même lorsqu'elle a été entendue. Donc je crois que, à mon avis, monsieur le témoin peut répondre à la question très ouverte que je lui ai posée sur ce qu'il convient de tirer comme conséquence. I gave him about what conclusions he draws from this telegram. President, witness is not supposed to provide any answers that he may. Uh, speculate. So you sh your question should be more specific uh, in relation to what he has known or has come across. You should not, your question should not be suggestive. Uh, it should be in, uh, put in a manner that uh, he uh, can reflect upon his own experience. Oui, oui, c'est bien mon intention, Monsieur le Président. Donc, euh, Monsieur le témoin, vous avez été amené à commenter lors de euh, cette procédure un télégramme dans lequel votre père évoque euh, l'envoi de votre sœur qui euh, est celle qui vous a succédé à une formation. Comment expliquez-vous ce, ce télégramme qui porte la date du 26 novembre 1976 et dans laquelle est évoquée la formation de votre sœur Quelle est l'explication Qu'est-ce que ça vous suggère la lecture que je viens de donner de ce télégramme qui vous avait déjà été lu That I do not know. I did not know whether or not she came to undertake further training or not. But actually, she had 
master the skill uh, before uh, she came uh, to take my place. Elle avait déjà acquis uh, ses compétences avant de venir me remplacer. Elle avait été formée sur le décodage. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions, M. le Président. M. le Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions. Merci. Thank you, Council. Now I hand over to the defense team for Mr. Ying Seri to put the questions to the witness. You may proceed, Council. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors, and good morning to everyone in and around the courtroom. And good morning, sir. I'm Michael Carnavas, and I represent, along with Mr. Ying Mr. Ying Seri. Let me begin by focusing again on your age. I've looked at your statements, and you told the investigators that you were born in 1960. Today, you told us plus or minus one year. When you gave that answer to the investigators that you were born in 1960, did you qualify it? In other words, that you didn't actually know the year dit, and the actual date of your birth, but you could have been born as early as 1959 or as late as 1961. <coughs> when the investigator asked me, uh, we actually uh, discussed this uh, as well. Uh, I could not qualify it uh, as to when I exactly was born. I asked uh, my uh, siblings. Uh, they could not uh, tell me. And I asked uh, people whom I uh, knew. Uh, they uh, did not know exactly. But I could only say that I was born around 1960. All right. Thank you. Now, when you asked your siblings, was that uh, during the interview, uh, before or after the interview? No, I had asked them long before the interview was conducted when I was uh, registering for uh, identification card. Okay, thank you. So then I go back to my original question. Since they could not tell you, did you inform the investigators at the time when they asked you for your date of birth, did you tell them, I do not know, it might be 1960, it might be 59, it might be 61? Did you actually say that? Or did you just, did you just give them December 1960? I told them that uh, I was not clear. The investigator at that time told me that uh, they, uh, I had to, uh, I uh, could tell from the identification card. So the date was taken from the identification card. Uh, thank you for that clarification. Now, I want to focus uh, initially the time when you were a driver. Realizing that you don't know the exact year of your birth, do you know how old you were when you became a driver? I do not know exactly uh, when, how old I was at that time, but uh, I um, think it could have been around 18 or 17 years of age. Well, could it have been 16 or 15? Since you don't know when you were actually born. No, it couldn't have been uh, 15 no, years old. 
because at that time I uh, if I recall it correctly I could drive a big trucks as well so I, it, could, it could not have been uh, 15 je years. Aussi conduire de gros camions et donc je, okay. ça pas être uh, de 15. is that because there was a prohibition during that period that 15 year olds could not drive big trucks pour les or is it because you were too short to reach the pedals of the truck and that, that would have disqualified you from being a driver. Interdit pour les gens âgés de moins de 15 ans de conduire des camions, ou était-ce parce que vous étiez trop petit pour conduire un camion et atteindre les pédales? Tu me dis, tu ne peux pas en me dire là là. Yeah, my my leg uh, could not press uh, the uh, pedal. I, I I could not do it, and the strength as well. I did not have enough strength if I were 15 years. Je n'avais pas, je n'étais pas assez fort non plus. All right. And what about 16? At 16, were you tall enough? To reach the pedals and strong enough to manage the wheel. Pour atteindre les pédales et conduire au volant. Mà ta dụ tịch bạc quan, miệng cầm lăng khắng lo và. Well, if I was strong enough at that age, uh, I could uh, drive it. It would be, it would have been even better. Well, that doesn't answer my question. The thrust of my question actually is: Is it? Do you know for certain whether you were 17 or 18, or could you be as young as 16 at the time when you were driving, when you were a driver here in Phnom Penh? No, it, it, it could not have been the case. All right, let me move on. Now, as a driver, was part of your function to attend meetings? In other words, not to merely drive individuals from point A to point B, but to also attend the meetings. No, I didn't. Did you at least go inside the meeting room so you could see who is conducting the meeting, who are participating in the meetings? Salle pour voir qui organisait la réunion ou qui y participait. Nong diem na baglan ba na chun. As the drivers, I simply. Took the people to the meeting hall and I dropped them there. It was none of my business to enter into the business room. I only knew that the meeting was between these individuals and that individuals, but I did not enter the meeting room. All right. Now, how far, how close to the meeting room would you drive up to? Just. Avec la voiture, vous approchiez-vous de lieu de réunion Jusqu'où alliez-vous Réponse. As close as to the gate. Jusqu'au portail. Je me rendais jusqu'au portail. Are we speaking about the gate leading into the compound where the buildings, where the buildings, where the meetings would have taken place Are we talking about the gate of the building itself, which of the two? De la porte d'entrée du bâtiment. Lequel? Indeed, it's the outside gate of the compound. Il s'agissait du portail extérieur de l'enceinte. And from the outside gate of the compound, could you please tell us how far the buildings or building would have been where these meetings would have taken place? Pour arriver au bâtiment où les réunions se déroulaient. Response. I went to Réponse. several places. I don't know uh, which place you refer to because every time I would stop at the gate. À fois, je au at portail. some places, I would, uh, the gate would be further endroits, from the building. At some places, the building was closer to the gate. Du bâtiment. Parfois, le portail and est plus près. when you would be waiting 
I assume that you were waiting je suppose que vous uh, while the meeting was going on. Pendant que la réunion were you inside the compound or outside the gate? Which of the two? De l'enceinte ou à l'extérieur de l'enceinte, de l'autre côté du portail? Response. Réponse. As a driver, I had to make sure that I am chauffeur, at, with the car and in the car, de la so voiture, it is outside of the car. Dans la voiture, donc à de and l'enceinte. were there walls around Question. these compounds or fenced or ces just open? Ces enceintes, ces complexes, étaient-ils entourés de murs ou bien s'agissait-il de clôtures Response. ouvertes? In some places, it was in the open, but in some places there were some walls or fence. And while you were waiting, outside, you were waiting, 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 you were you were waiting, you were waiting, with the guards Ce faisant, to find out what avec the meetings were about, les gardiens pour savoir who was meeting, sur quoi what the topics may have been. portaient les réunions, qui y participaient et de quoi les participants parlaient. Response. No, I wasn't. Non. Now, on the way to Question. the meetings, did you, en route being the driver, that is, réunions, have conversations chauffeur, with the passengers, whoever they may have been, avec as far as what they were up to? Pour savoir where they were going, ce qu'ils faisaient, who they would ils be allaient, meeting, what they would ils be discussing. De quoi ils Response. No, I didn't. Réponse. Non. And when the meeting ended and you had to drive those individuals back to wherever you were taking them, did you engage or did they engage with you in conversation to give you an update as to what may have happened during the meeting, who attended, what was spoken, what was resolved? Avait été présent aux réunions, de quoi l'on avait parlé, quelles solutions avaient été trouvées. Response. No, I didn't. No. Let me now switch to before you became a driver. You told us of your functions. I don't want to go into that. I just wish to touch upon a couple of issues concerning points. Your father's position. You told us that he was a secretary of the sector. That's correct. Response. Yes, it is. And that's a pretty important position, is it not? C'est un poste assez élevé, n'est-ce pas? Response. I can't say whether it was important or not, but I knew that he was the secretary of the sector. All right, well, help me out here now, because you told us about decoding secret messages, you told us about purges, you told us all sorts of details, and I'm at a loss now, because now you're telling us, having lived through that period, being intimate with your father, being intimate with his work, de votre you don't know père, vous connaissiez bien son how travail, important mais vous nous dites que his position would have been. Is that important. your testimony today? Response. Response. No, I do not understand je suis désolé, your question because you would seem to stress the term important vous in their le context. Terme important. All right, let me clarify it. Je ne sais pas ce que vous par là. In the sector question. itself, was there someone Au sein du above secteur, your father's level qui était plus haut placé within the sector? Père, dans le sector? Response. No. Réponse. No. All right. Now, from Question. that simple answer, 
can we conclude that at least within the sector, your father is the most important person? Or should we have doubts? Ou bien devons-nous avoir des doutes à ce sujet? Response. Réponse. As long as that regime concern. Yes, we can. Pour ce qui est de ce régime, effectivement. All right. La défense. Now, très bien. If I understand you correctly, si j'ai bien compris, ce you're doubting the fact that your father was the most important, or most powerful person in the sector when he was secretary of the sector, with no one above him within the sector. Secrétaire sans qu'il y ait qui que ce soit qui soit plus haut que lui dans la hiérarchie du secteur. Response. Personally, Réponse. if we look into today's situation and I said. Compared to the previous regime, during the time when my father was holding that position, I do not see that such position was that important because he was assigned duties. Car il s'agissait d'une fonction qui lui avait été confiée. Merci pour cette comparaison. Mais nous parlons des événements de l'époque. Not what you may think of what a secretary of a sector does today. Vous pouvez penser de ce que fait un secteur ou un secrétaire aujourd'hui. Avez-vous des doutes quant au point de savoir si votre père n'était pas le personnage le plus puissant du secteur quand il en était secrétaire Je vous prie de répondre par oui ou non ou de dire tout simplement « je n'en sais rien ». Response. I still believe that he was not a person of important position or with great power. All right, thank you. Now, we know that you were working for your father and coding and decoding confidential or secret messages. Did your father? By any chance, describe his functions to you. Est-ce que votre père vous aurait écrit précisément ses fonctions? What his role was, what his responsibilities were at the time as secretary of the sector. Que secrétaire du secteur. Response. No, he didn't. No. Did your father, at any time, hold secret meetings? With individuals, while he was secretary of the sector. Alors qu'il était secrétaire du secteur. Response. Réponse. Question. 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 And during those meetings, were you present? Durant ces réunions, étiez-vous présent? Response: No, I wasn't. Réponse: No. Is that because the meetings were supposed to be confidential, or is it because you were not in a position to be in attendance of those meetings? Vous n'étiez pas en mesure d'être présent à ces réunions. Response. The latter is correct. C'est la deuxième option qui est exacte. All right. Well, if you did not attend the meetings because you were not qualified or competent in your position, that is, to attend the meetings, did your father at least tell you in advance what those meetings were about? And then after, perhaps, tell you what occurred during the meetings. À ces réunions, est-ce qu'il vous en parlait éventuellement après les réunions? Response. He didn't tell me anything because I was not in a position to be informed of the update. He could have talked to his colleagues or his 
people about this. Well, did you ask him any questions to give you an update on who he was meeting with, what decisions or what topics were being discussed, what decisions were being reached, what orders were being given? Response. Réponse. No, I didn't. Uh, I, I wouldn't dare. Je pas and again, uh, he was not uh, bound to tell me anything about Et the update. Il pas à me dire quoi que ce soit. And is that because Question. during that period, parce que secrecy période, was le secret a very important factor était quelque chose for anyone? Important. Especially for someone pour tous, who would have a position such as secretary un poste of a sector. Comme celui de secrétaire de secteur. Response. Yes, it Réponse. is correct. Effectivement. At that time, à people were asked to mind his or her business only. Gens de s'occuper de leurs affaires uniquement. And I take it Question. that you minded your Je business que vous, as well. Vous occupiez de vos affaires également. Response. Réponse. That was the policy. Tel était policy is one thing, practice politique. is another. I just want to get a confirmation Question. from la you, sir. La politique, c'est une chose. La pratique, c'en est une autre. Did you vous follow the policy? Vous obtenir une confirmation. Est-ce que vous appliquez cette politique? Response. Réponse. Yes, I did. Oui. On no. Vietnam with her. No one there challenged Personne such policy. Personne n'osait contester une telle uh, politique. Thank you. Now, you Merci. told us that on occasion your father would vous go to Phnom Penh and votre on occasion he would go Phnom as well. Que vous y uh, did aussi. you accompany him to those meetings or again were you left outside? À ces réunions, ou bien Est-ce qu'à nouveau vous êtes resté à l'extérieur? Réponse. I was left outside because when I was in Phnom Penh, I could not accompany him all the way to the meeting. I would be dropped at the commerce office. Je le déposais and again, if I may press for clarification, at least with those meetings, now the meetings réunions, in Phnom Penh, là, celles qui lieu à Phnom Penh, did your father tell you what the meetings were about before and maybe give you an update after the meetings to keep you abreast on the situation? Vous en informez après en vue de vous tenir au courant de la situation. Response. Réponse. No, he didn't. No. He didn't tell me anything. Il ne me disait rien. And just to make sure Question. that I'm very, very clear on this point, or that we are clear on this point, uh, when you were in Phnom Penh, did you attend any important meetings or assemblies where important decisions would have taken place? Response. No, I didn't. No. And just as a follow-up, did anyone, other than your, question, you, told, you told us about your father, but did anyone else père, ever inform you of what might have been taking place, what decisions might, what, what topics might have been discussed, and decisions des réunions, des décisions at prises, these meetings or assemblies? Réunions, assemblies. Response. Réponse. No, they didn't. Je n'en sais rien. Uh, thank you. Now, Question. for my last topic, I just want to briefly touch upon your interview. Brièvement parler uh, or I should say interviews. De vos entretiens. Uh, I couldn't help but notice Je that de une chose. when you were giving evidence Quand vous avez with the prosecution asking questions, en there were at times that accusation. your memory needed to Parfois, be refreshed on what you had told the investigators par rapport à ce que vous aviez dit aux enquêteurs. because you simply could not remember. Vous aviez oublié. Do you have an explanation as to how is it that you had such vivid knowledge and detailed knowledge when you were giving interviews to the investigators, lorsque vous yet avez only donné a few years later, aux enquêteurs, you, you do not possess années plus tard those peine, details. Vous plus en votre position ces details.
response. I may explain as follows. Laissez-moi vous expliquer. During the time, you know, like for example, in this uh, courtroom, questions were bombarded at Dans me prétoire, uh, quickly. Je suis bombardé uh, de questions at the same time, on one day or two. But élevé, during the interviews, uh, people came jours, to me and they set up the environment where we could converse. You know, it's more like a, qui se a kind of conversational setting. So I could have some time to collect. J'ai donc uh, eu le events, temps uh, de me remémorer here, les événements. Tandis qu'ici, j'ai plus de mal. J'ai besoin de temps pour formuler mes réponses. Je ne suis pas quelqu'un capable de lire et écrire très uh, bien. C'est donc difficile pour moi. I understand. La défense. Uh, I hope I haven't been bombarding you with Je questions. Je J'espère ne pas vous avoir bombardé de questions. J'espère uh, avoir été long. Mais laissez-moi vous demander. When you were conducting Voici these interviews in this sort of conversational style setting ce contexte where you could la gather your thoughts and collect your memories, de, uh, did the investigators uh, talk to you que before you went on tape les enquêteurs vous to sort of ont parlé get a sense of what knowledge you had, pour se faire une idée de ce how que good vous your memory was? Du degré de précision de votre mémoire. Response. Réponse. The the tape. Uh, our conversation was uh, tape recorded time and again after some conversation. plusieurs fois après les discussions. All right. Now there may have been a translation problem. Question. Il y a peut-être un problème well, d'interprétation. I just want to make it very clear. Vous vous trompez, mais je veux tirer cela au clair. Are you saying that there was a conversation first? Vous dites qu'il y a d'abord une you were conversation, puis qu'il y a eu un enregistrement. It, because that's how it appeared. C'est l'impression que j'ai eu en entendant l'interprétation anglaise. Response. Réponse. No, I think that's not the case. Uh, the conversation had to go on the la tape simultaneously. The conversation et l'enregistrement sonore se faisait simultanément. And the, then uh, we would be talking and then we would win on tape and if something went wrong then we would correct and record nous enregistrions s'il y avait un problème nous rectifions sure et nous enregistrons la défense part. je ne suis pas sûr d'avoir bien saisi la dernière partie what do you mean if something went wrong vous dites si quelque chose ne fonctionnait pas one way of interpreting that Qu'est-ce que cela veut dire if the correct answer wasn't given then you were given an opportunity to si clean it up vous after pas looking at some documents vous maybe having your memory refreshed après avoir vu so des documents please tell us exactly what you mean by that qu'entendez-vous donc par là The President, Mr. Witness, please hold on and international co-prosecutor, you may now proceed. Témoin, veuillez attendre la parole de l'accusation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je pense que la dernière question devrait être reformulée pour être un peu plus ouverte, pour permettre aux témoins d'expliquer sans que les réponses puissent être suggérées. Merci, Monsieur le Président. To reply freely without having any suggestions made to him. Thank you, Mr. President. Your Honor, Mr. President, Your Honor, I said how. So the classic open-ended questions are who, what, where, how, explain, describe. Commençons par comment. How? Une question ouverte commence par comment, qui, how did this pourquoi, occur? Où? He said that it would be corrected. What exactly happened? Il a dit qu'il happened? pouvait they être corrigé. Je me suis demandé ce qui se passait. Est-ce qu'on corrigeait dans l'enregistrement Est-ce qu'on demandait des documents J'aimerais qu'il nous dise exactement comment se déroulaient les entretiens. Response. So, I may wish you to repeat that question. Okay. Très bien. You told us that when you were interviewed, you were tape recorded. les entretiens, il y avait un enregistrement sonore. And then you seem to say that if there was a problem, it would be corrected. Cela a été corrigé. C'est ainsi que vos propos ont été traduits. 
désolé, je dépends de l'interprétation. Vous dites qu'il pouvait y avoir un problème. Qu'entendez-vous par là Et comment le problème était-il corrigé Response. It was not a kind of error or mistake made problème. during that time. But, for example, when I thought something which is not about the truth, Mais and si I would be given the opportunity to play back the tape, vrai, j'avais l'occasion de faire rejouer la bande et de vérifier que ma version des événements était la bonne. Et de vérifier que ma version des événements était la bonne. So that we get the truth. Pour parvenir à la vérité. And thank you very, very much for that. And that's what I want clarification. C'est là-dessus que j'aimerais avoir des précisions. Because you seem to be telling us that as you're giving your version. Que quand vous donniez votre version des événements, parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient que vous ne disiez pas la vérité. Parfois les enquêteurs pensaient When we have to recollect something that happened in the past, without some recorded pieces of evidence to support our memory, then we may be wrong. And at that same time, as you may be aware, that during the old days, people did not keep good records of what had actually happened. In my memory, things that happened to me, I still remember what how they happened, but I just could not confirm precisely when exactly they happened. Although they did, that's why with this conversation and the refresh of my memory, I could really correct the events. On a pu me rafraîchir la mémoire et j'ai pu corriger les événements. Il vous rafraîchissait la mémoire. Les enquêteurs, je suppose. Réponse. Réponse. They didn't refresh my memories, actually, but they asked me Ils questions to help me uh, recall. For example, they asked me questions where I was yesterday, and I said uh, I was at uh, Comrade A's home. And then they would say, but you said it was at Comrade X. B, things like that. So this is how it happened. Uh, Uh, but voilà. the, the way questions were put to me uh, helped me uh, recollect uh, the event or re remember the event. Well, in putting, in, in putting those questions to you, were they not also suggesting what the answers might be in order for you to give a confirmation? Implicitement les réponses en vue de vous amener à confirmer. Response. Please repeat that question. Well, in the when giving you, when trying, when correcting you, were there were they also suggesting what the right answer was in order for you to correct your memory and to have something accurate on the tape? Vos souvenirs et que vous enregistriez quelque chose de correct sur la bande Response. sonore. Yes, that Réponse. Yes, correct. Effectivement. They would like to confirm to make sure that I really said uh, the right events. Ils voulaient obtenir confirmation pour s'assurer que j'ai donné la version exacte des événements. The president, uh, legal lawyer for the civil party, you may now proceed. La parole est au coin principal pour les partis civils. Pick Maître Pic Mr. President, Monsieur thank you very much. I Merci. think I have a kind of doubt. Uh, Council Canavas were talking about the co-investigating judges who Carnavas may 
correct à parler des corriges d'instruction qui avait pu corriger la déclaration so we would it would be fair if counsel also ask uh, what kind of version that the investigators correct corrected during that time uh, mr president maître canavas Lawyers normally don't stand up général, and voice their doubts. Un They voice objections. Ne se lève pas pour dire qu'ils s'interrogent. The gentleman had an opportunity to, to question the witness. Cet the witness a obviously a understands témoin. my questions. Visiblement, rather clear. A bien mes questions. If he has doubts, si then perhaps he can seek leave to ask il for further questions. Peut de poser But I'll questions. go step by step to make sure Moi, that we have a very clear record as to how these interviews were conducted. Actes de la manière dont ces Now, interviews se sont déroulées. You told us thus far that the investigators will, would help you with your memory. Vous à Did they also show you any documents vos souvenirs? as verification in order to aussi des get you to understand the dates or the places or the names afin de vous aider à comprendre les during dates, the interview? Les lieux, les noms et ceux Response. No. All right. Réponse. And with that, non. sir, I wish to thank you for Très giving bien. your evidence here. Merci and venu thank déposer. the trial chamber Je for allowing me the opportunity to pose these questions. Poser ces questions aux and we want to thank you, sir, and wish Monsieur, you good luck and vous. safe travels. Bonne chance et bon retour chez vous. No, uh, the president. Council, you are on your feet. Uh, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, everyone. I didn't get a chance yesterday before I left the courtroom to properly thank the witness. Thank you, Mr. Witness, for answering some of my questions yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't have a chance to have more of a conversational exchange, as you put it, but I am grateful for the answers that you did provide, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Uh, brother, uh, Mr. President, Mr. Panwan, 
Your testimony has now come to a conclusion and you are now excused. You may be let out of this room very soon and the chamber would like to thank you very much indeed for your time and efforts and patience. De votre temps et d'avoir déployé Your et testimony will be helping votre the court in finding the truth, and we would like uh, to wish you justice. all the very et best and safe travels. Bon Council, a jury council for Mr. Panwan is also excused. Uh, aussi you le may de leave de now. And court officer Monsieur is Panvan now instructed to usher both of them. And the court will adjourn for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. The next session will resume by 10 to 11 when we hear testimonies of TC W695. Some culture.